The most important thing for people to understand about homelessness is that it itself is a trauma. It is surrounded by desperation. Often being homeless means that you have to, as a woman, sell your body for a place to sleep. The women that we see at Marion House have had to do things that they are ashamed of simply in order to have a place to sleep at night. They'll go buy drugs for someone in order for them, that person, to allow them to stay in their home. The illegal behaviors and the traumas often are because they're simply trying to meet their own basic needs because they don't have a stable place to live. they are intricately interwoven. In some cases, you can pinpoint that one of those things may have happened or they may have been exposed to one of those things, such as trauma as a child, which then led to mental health issues, which then led to substance use issues, which then led to illegal activities and incarceration, which led to homelessness. For every woman, the path that they have been on is different. I think the most important thing is that you can't ignore any of them and that each one of the experiences that the women have gone through, they're all important and they're all part of the woman's story and they all need to be addressed. They all are adversities that need to be overcome. The downside of treating issues in isolation is you're just putting a band-aid on a very infected wound. It might help, but I don't believe that that will lead to long-term success and rehabilitation and stabilization of the individual. You can't just isolate the one issue and talk about and address the one issue. It will never work. They will end up back in the same life that they were in before. Every aspect of it needs to be addressed, and it's very difficult to do. Having the opportunity to be in a community setting with other people who are going through this rehabilitative process and getting well means that in a shorter span of time, we are able to transform these women into independent women. They might decide that they are going to skip their intensive outpatient drug treatment program that day, or they may not want to go to their therapy appointment that day, or the addiction education group that day, or their employment readiness group that day. But they live with us, so they come home, and we're able to say, well, where were you? You missed your therapy session. Well, how about we reschedule for tomorrow morning? And having those two things together, the fact that they are living there, they need to come home at the end of the day and have a place to eat and sleep, it's a way to entice them to get the care that they need to get better. Without the intensity of services, without creating the intentional community, and having the women have the opportunity to live amongst one another and become friends with one another and a support system to one another that then they can take out into permanent housing with them, I don't think that they would survive. When a woman exits our program successfully, there are many, many things happening and that have happened to her over the course of time that she's here. She is often mentally stable, clean off drugs and alcohol, has a job for the first time in 10 to 20 years, as well as is moving into a stable home environment. For some women, that's moving back in with family, back in with children, or it might be moving into an apartment of their own. The women leave Marion House strong, women and women who are capable of overcoming adversities, women who have value not only to themselves but all of society and who have the ability to hold up our society and make it a stronger and better place.